In Commitment 2020, many voters in North Carolina's newly drawn 10th Congressional District are in for a surprise this election. You'll find names that you might not recognize. The incumbent is Republican Patrick McHenry, the challenger Democrat David Parker. Our Bill O'Neill breaks down the race tonight. Yeah, voters from Yadkin, Stoke, Surrey, Rockingham, and a part of Forsyth are now in this district. What has not changed, the district still favors the Republican candidate. Both candidates have political experience. Patrick McHenry's held this seat since 2005. Parker has served on his local school board in Iredell County. Do you know that much about him? Are you familiar with his uh, record at all? I don't believe he's ever held elected office to my knowledge. Um, no, but uh, I believe he's the Democrat Party chair. And I think that speaks enough. For, for my constituents to make a choice. He's passed three bills in 16 years and we've paid him two and a half million dollars in salary. Um, we could have simply not hired him and let that two and a half million dollars be spent on some better, uh, better opportunity. Among the differences, healthcare. Do you support efforts to repeal the ACA? Yes. Can you tell me why? Because I, I believe that socialized healthcare provides fewer options. Uh, fewer treatment uh, choices and outsources the relationship between doctor and patient to the government. Universal health care is something that is a necessity. It's not a luxury. This is a wealthy country. And I think that going back to a, a pure for-profit insurance program um, is a mistake. When you say health care, there is a uh, division among the members of your party of how far to go with health care. Where are you on that spectrum? My goal would be for uh, all folks to have basic health care um, that is provided and paid for, uh, frankly, through their taxes instead of through insurance premiums. Nick Henry blames Senator John McCain for not killing Obamacare when Republicans had their chance. Now the courts may end up deciding the issue, while McHenry says Republicans have an alternative health plan. The idea that you only have Bernie Sanders as an alternative for health care, socialized health care, or the ACA is not true. We actually have a credible plan that would lower prices and give people more options. The GOP plan covers pre-existing conditions, but doesn't ensure patients get affordable coverage. It doesn't prevent plans from charging sicker people higher rates. Do you believe that police treat the black community and the white community the same? From officer to officer, um, no. As a, as a group, I think that there is an attempt to treat people the same. Um, but you know, just because a man or a woman puts on that uniform doesn't change who they are, but they can be trained. Do you believe that the black community and the white community are treated the same by police? Well, the, the statistics would show that that is not the case. And uh, moreover, uh, the example that I've heard from uh, relationships that I have uh, would show that that is not the same. The candidates also have different views on the Black Lives Matter protest. The fact that Black Lives Matter as a, as a thing to say has gotten pushback, I think shows a certain insensitivity by people who have taken their own uh, advantages for granted and have forgotten what it's like to not have those advantages. Uh, so I'm in, I'm in full sympathy with the Black Lives Matter movement. We have uh, uh, malignant actors that have taken those peaceful protests and turned them into riots in many uh, cities across America. We've not seen this uh, in, um, in, in Western North Carolina. Uh, it is the larger question of whether or not we're going to be a civil and just society and how we can get societal change, which is much needed when it comes to police reform and much needed when it comes to uh, the abuse of power by uh, bad actors um, it, within government or within law enforcement and our policing of those bad actors. Nick Henry and Parker don't share the same views on the president either. I know a lot of evangelical folks. Uh, I am a believer myself. I know a lot of evangelical folks who are worried about the fact that this president is not walking the walk even when he seems to talk the talk. And I think that this needs to be talked about. What do you think of the job that the president has done in handling the pandemic? I think he's done well in terms of 
regulatory relief in terms of speeding up the process at the FDA so they won't have a slower regulatory process for safe and effective vaccines and treatments and tests to come online. Is there any issue that you can think of that you don't agree with the president? Um, well, I don't spend a lot of time thinking about uh, disagreements in this in this process. I'm trying to work the process to get good results. McHenry says he supports the president's trade and tax policies in particular. So far, the candidates have not agreed to a debate. I'd be happy to debate Patrick Henry anytime, anywhere, any place, on any topic, including live on uh, your show. Uh, I don't believe he'll debate me. I don't think he wants to talk about these topics. I think he wants to talk about getting reelected. You're open to the idea? You haven't uh, made up your mind on it? No, it, I've traditionally voted my, uh, debated my opponents uh, uh, over uh, previous elections. And, um, and I, I would see that that's likely this time around. Not sure the venue. No word on the debate yet. The election's still nearly a month away. Mail voting is already underway and early voting gets underway next week. Bill O'Neill, WXII. 12 News.